inheritance is a property by which classes of one type acquire the properties from classes of another type. But how do we incorporate inheritance in C++ programming? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves that obvious question. How do we incorporate inheritance in C++ programming? Oh, let's run out. So, inheritance is a property by which classes of one type acquire the properties of classes of another type. So, let us imagine that we have a class called vehicles over here. So, this is a class vehicles and now we all know for a fact that uh, any vehicle, be it any vehicle, it will have tires, it will have engine, it will have the basic property to start and go forward, it will have the basic property to stop. So, let us add these basic properties inside this vehicle. So, data members include tire. So, the class vehicles, let us assume that the class vehicles have two data members, tires and lights and two member functions start and stop. So, now, be it any vehicle, be it a car, be it a bike, be it a truck, be it an auto, be it any vehicle, they'll all have the same properties that they'll all have tires, they'll all have lights, they'll all have the function of being able to start the engine and they'll all have the function of being able to stop the engine. So, let us consider another class, say car. So, the fact that the class car contains all these same properties, that the class car also has tires, a car also has lights, a car also is able to start and car also is able to stop. So, we don't have to create another set of data members or another set of member functions inside car. Rather, we can just inherit the properties of this vehicles onto this particular car. So once we inherit the properties, this particular class car will also have the data members tire, lights, start as well as stop inside this. This thus is the basic concept of what you refer to as inheritance. That is classes of one type are inheriting the properties from classes of another type. So, how do we incorporate this in C++? How do we do this in C++? It is very simple. So, now here the parent class is vehicles and the subclass is car. So, now here in the case of inheritance what we do is that now we have already declared the class vehicles say class vehicles. So, now let us assume this parent class vehicles with the following data members and two member functions. So, now if we have to create another class inheriting the properties of this particular class then first we have to write the name of the subclass that is car so class car so we have created a class class car but we have to inherit the properties of this class so therefore for this we use this particular keyword that is a colon and after that we have to specify an access specifier say public and then we have to specify the name of the class vehicles and now a class has been created by inheriting the properties of another class. So, this is called a derived class and this is called the base class. This is the simple property of what you refer to as inheritance in C++. So, now the obvious question that you might be having right now is what is this? Why did I say public over here? So, here we know for a fact that inside a class there are three access specifiers, private, protected and public. So here, when we specify public, the things that are here in the base class under the access specifier public will be declared as public itself in this particular class. So here in public, you will have all these things inherited over here. And if we had something under protected, those things would also be given under protected over here. But here, those things that are under private will not be, we will not be able to access the things that are here in private because we will be able to access those only within this particular class. So for things under private won't be inherited over here. Similarly, if I had rather declared this as a protected, then the things over here under public would have gone to protected access specifier here and things under protected would have also gone to protected access specifier here but things under private will not be accessed by this particular class. And now rather if I had this under private, all the things that is both in protected and public would have gone to private over here. So that is the significance of specifying the access mode over here. So therefore the basic syntax of inheritance would look something like this. So this is the basic syntax that is first we are declaring the subclass and then after we specify the access mode we write the name of the base class. So this is simply how we inherit the properties of one class onto another class like this. So this table over here shows us how this particular access mode signifies under which access specifier the data members or data member functions would go 
enduring inheritance. So this table gives us a brief idea about that. So now next let us see the types of inheritance we have. First is a single inheritance that is a single class B will inherit as properties from a single class A. So that is what you refer to as single inheritance that is a basic form of inheritance. So here the class B will acquire the properties of class A in the case of single inheritance. But now next we have multiple inheritance where a single class will inherit the properties from multiple base classes. That is class C will have the properties of both class A as well as class B. So therefore here class class C will inherit the properties of class A as well as class B. That is what you refer to as multiple inheritance. But now next we have something referred to as multi-level inheritance. So in multi-level inheritance, first class B will inherit the properties of class A and then class C will inherit the properties of class B. So first class B will inherit the properties of class A and once after that class C will inherit the properties of class B. So therefore the inheritance goes like this on, on a basis of different levels and hence it is named as multi-level inheritance and lastly we have hierarchical inheritance where we see a hierarchical architecture that is first we'll have a base class then it will be inherited onto another class and then here from one single base class it will be inherited onto another class and onto another subclass so therefore hierarchy is formed that is what you refer to as a hierarchical inheritance and now the combination of all these together is referred to as a hybrid inheritance. That is when we incorporate all these types of inheritance together, we get what we refer to as a hybrid inheritance. So therefore, these are the different types of inheritance that we can observe in the case of C++. So therefore, this does is simply what you refer to as inheritance in C++ programming. That is the property by which one class acquires the properties of another class is simply what you refer to as inheritance. And this is how you incorporate inheritance in C++ programming. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as inheritance in C++ programming. And if you guys found this video informative, do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.